you all shut your mouths and stop saying Tinubu is being tribalistic. The Minister of Defense is a Northerner and the National Security Advisor is a Northerner. Why do you say Tinubu has given all the juicy position to Southwestern? Shut your mouth if you don't know what to say. Well, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Sani as well, is saying to Northerners, Northern elders, Northern leaders, shut your trash. Okay, stop picking on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu because you want to say something. Just stop it. Just stop it. Okay, it says so. He has done what he can, he has distributed all the necessary position. You cannot say. You can't say that, you know, he has given all the position and he has now westernized, you know, all the juicy position in the country. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Speaking about the CBN department relocation to Abuja, Senator Uba Sani, the governor of the governor of Kaduna State made accusation against Northerners holding important government position under President Bola and Metinubo, including, including National Security Advisor, Minister of Defense position. These are very important roles. And the Minister of Education, mm -hmm. Minister of Health, he emphasized how vital it is to address concern relating to security, health, and education, which is actually the life of the person which is actually the totality of humanity. If the region is so prosperous, he denounced the practice of bringing politics into government decisions, saying that this confusion weakens the people and the North. Where their own was there, no one said a word. When Buhari was there and things were going the other way, Southerners also felt the same way. Bola Tinubu has done better for the North than Buhari would have ever done. So please stop it. The vice president is from the north. Must everybody be from the north for you to know that this man is properly distributing it? If you say he's from the, he has given all position to the southerners, what will the south he say? Let's stop being tribalistic and do the right thing. He called on the focus efforts to tackle this problem rather than spreading misinformation and inciting the people against all, saying we cannot continue like this to build the north. If we want to build the north, we will have to do much more. Spreading misinformation, inciting the people, collective action to address challenges facing the north. There are real issues we need to deal with. We cannot put this on anyone. He said in an interview with TV, TVC, our major problem is human capital development. There are more children in the North that have not gone to school than any other part of the country. They should talk about education of the North. The Minister of Education is from the North. What is he doing to get a majority off the streets? The Minister of Health is from the North. How many Healthcare centers, as he puts in place, how many has it inspired to come into place? The Minister of Defense is from the North. Insecurity is in, is in its all-time high. The National Security Advisor is a Northern. When are we when are we going to talk about the real issues facing us? Stop putting blame on others and work on this. What Tinubu has given to the North is more than enough to make any people succeed. Health, education. Many, uh, health, education, and more. So please leave all this behind and let's do the right thing. Even security is very important. So let's deal with it. We have the Minister of Defense from the North. Everyone education from the North. Let's put these things to use and stop picking on anybody. I don't know what else to say after reading that. I don't know what else to add to it. But what do you think? I mean, this man totally, completely dissect all that is happening and he's saying, guys, 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 come off every form of, uh, you know, all these lies and everything you keep trying to, you keep trying to go round and round the circle. We know what the real problem is. You guys are just trying to look for somebody to victimize. Okay. Northerners, 
You know, he said we need to look at first of all our issues. Okay, after looking at our issues, then we can we can know where we start and how to go about things. Let's not blame Tinubu for trying mm -hmm. to put things in order. What position do you want him to give to the north for you to be satisfied that he has that he has shared it? And he made a very serious reference. What if you are saying he has not given good position, Minister of Defense, Minister of Education, Chief Security Advisor to the North? Okay. What, would, what do you want the Southeast to say? You said he has not given any position, right, to the North, okay? Vice President is from the North. I'm not the one, so that is his word, so Vice President is from the North. What have, what have you guys done with that? Minister of Defense is from the North. Education is from the North. How many children are out of, are out of the streets? So looking at things more descriptively, you know, trying to ensure that the truth is being dispensed, what are we doing? Because the, the, the days upon us are critical. You can continue to point fingers all you want. You can continue to, you know, begin to, you know, try to bring people into all of this. You know, blame everybody for your failure. But he asked a very serious question. He said, what is the minister of education? He said the North is one of the most places, according to him, where children are mostly out of school. We don't have that problem in the Southwest, averagely. You see, an, an average Southwest child is educated. Even the market women, they read and write. The, the market women, I mean, to a large extent. If for nothing, they will go to school to an extent. So, he said, if, if you have not dealt, you have education, Minister of Education, what ideas is it bringing? And let's not forget that when Good Luck Ebele Jonathan was there, he saw this how many years they go ahead. And he started building schools and he had a caption, you know, and, and a philosophy that he sees an imaginary child becoming a doctor. He sees an imaginary child becoming a president, becoming this, becoming that. It was the northern governors that laughed him to scorn that he was he was doing he was doing it to himself. He was trying to, you know, uh, you know, take away what gives them the opportunity to be able to vote during, uh, you know, you know, their numbers, you know, because when these people are wise, you can't use them. You know, when these people become educated and they know the implication, it's going to take time, but at the long run, it's going to pay off. Those schools have become abandoned projects. The North, first of all, they tried to weaken him, frustrate him, and when, when he left, nobody followed up with it. There are children in this country who have not gone to school for the last 10 years, if not more. For the last 10 years, if not more. Yet you have the Minister of Education. I, I'm so glad with what you said. Vice President as well, telling them to, you know, just keep short. Let's, let's, let's focus on our problem and deal with it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.